A tiny battery, smaller than a coin, promises to power your devices for 50 years without recharging. That's the future new improvements are showing us recently in diamond nuclear batteries. In fact, in 2024 last year, Chinese startup Betavolt unveiled the BV100, a revolutionary battery that uses radioactive nickel-63 to generate electricity. Imagine a world where your smartphone never needs charging, or drones can fly indefinitely. This could be the future. Meanwhile, in New York, battery storage projects are being built on the site of a decommissioned nuclear power plant. These projects aim to store renewable energy and ensure grid reliability, showing how nuclear technology is evolving to meet modern energy needs. And let's not forget the Mars rovers. For decades, nuclear batteries have powered spacecraft like Voyager 1, which is still sending signals from beyond our solar system after 47 years. These batteries, called radioisotope thermoelectric generators RTGs, have proven their reliability in the harshest environments. But what exactly are nuclear batteries? How do they work? And why aren't they powering everything yet? Let's dive in and explore the science, the challenges, and the incredible potential of this technology. As we hear about these breakthroughs, questions naturally arise. How can something so small last for decades? Is it safe to use radioactive materials in everyday devices? And if nuclear batteries are so powerful, why aren't they already in our phones and cars? These questions are important because nuclear batteries aren't like the ones we're used to. They don't rely on chemical reactions like lithium ion batteries. Instead, they harness the energy released by the decay of radioactive isotopes. This process is slow and steady providing a constant flow of electricity for years, or even centuries. But with great power comes great responsibility. The use of radioactive materials raises concerns about safety, cost, and environmental impact. So before we get too excited about never charging our phones again, let's understand how these batteries actually work. Nuclear batteries, also known as atomic batteries or radioisotope generators, generate electricity from the decay of radioactive isotopes. Unlike nuclear reactors, which rely on chain reactions to produce energy, nuclear batteries use the natural decay process of isotopes like nickel-63, tritium, or plutonium-238. Here's how it works. When a radioactive isotope decays, it emits particles like alpha or beta particles. These particles carry energy, which can be converted into electricity. There are two main ways to do this, thermal conversion and non-thermal conversion. In thermal conversion, the heat produced by radioactive decay is used to generate electricity. This is how RTGs work. For example, plutonium-238 decays and releases heat, which is then converted into electricity using thermocouples. This method is highly reliable and has been used in space missions for decades. Non-thermal conversion, on the other hand, captures the energy of emitted particles directly. Betavoltaic cells, like the ones used in Betavolt's BV100, use semiconductor materials to convert beta particles into electricity. The BV100 sandwiches a thin layer of nickel-63 between two diamond semiconductor layers. As the nickel-63 decays into copper, it releases beta particles which are captured by the diamond layers to produce a steady electric current. The beauty of nuclear batteries lies in their longevity. The energy output depends on the half-life of the radioactive isotope. For example, nickel-63 has a half-life of about 100 years, meaning it will continue to provide power for decades. And once the isotope fully decays, it turns into a stable, non-radioactive material, posing no environmental threat. While nuclear batteries sound like a dream come true, there are significant challenges to overcome. First, there's the issue of power output. Current nuclear batteries, like the BV100, produce only 100 microwatts of power. That's enough to run a small sensor or a pacemaker, but far from enough to power a smartphone or a drone. Betavolt plans to release a 1-watt battery by 2025, but even that is still a fraction of what's needed for most consumer devices. Second, there's the challenge of safety. While the radioactive materials used in nuclear batteries are relatively low risk, 
they still require careful handling and shielding. For example, nickel-63 emits beta particles, which can be blocked by a thin layer of material, but other isotopes like plutonium-238 require heavier shielding. Ensuring that these batteries are safe for everyday use is a major hurdle. Cost is another barrier. Nuclear batteries are expensive to produce due to the rarity of certain isotopes and the complexity of the technology. For now, they're primarily used in niche applications like space exploration and medical devices, where their long lifespan justifies the high cost. Finally, there's public perception. The word nuclear often brings to mind images of disasters and radiation. Educating the public about the safety and benefits of nuclear batteries is crucial for their widespread adoption. Despite these challenges, nuclear batteries have already found some incredible applications. In space exploration, they've powered missions like Voyager 1, the Mars rovers, and the New Horizons probe. These missions rely on RTGs to provide a steady power source in environments where solar energy isn't feasible. On Earth, nuclear batteries are used in medical devices like pacemakers. In the 1970s, plutonium-powered pacemakers were implanted in patients, offering a lifespan far longer than traditional batteries. Today, tritium-based batteries are being developed for similar applications, providing a safe and reliable power source for life-saving devices. Nuclear batteries also have potential in remote monitoring and IoT, Internet of Things, devices. Imagine sensors in the deep ocean or the Arctic, collecting data for years without needing maintenance. These batteries could revolutionize fields like environmental monitoring, defense, and industrial automation. And let's not forget the futuristic possibilities. Betavolt envisions a world where nuclear batteries power everything from smartphones to drones, eliminating the need for frequent charging. While this might still be a few years away, the progress so far is promising. So, there you have it. Nuclear batteries are a fascinating blend of cutting-edge science and real-world applications. From powering spacecraft to potentially revolutionizing consumer electronics, this technology has the potential to change the way we think about energy. But as with any new technology, there are challenges to overcome. Safety, cost, and public perception will play a big role in determining how quickly nuclear batteries become a part of our daily lives. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the latest tech and science. And if you're curious about more such scientific videos, check out the video popping on the screen.